Wow, pre-K, that usually starts at four. Wow. All right, let's take a look at another wow factor. Our high today, 76, and for the first time in a while, above normal and a hint of spring outside, although it started chilly again at 40 degrees this morning. Sunrise tomorrow, 710, and uh, we won't see that with the clouds in 618 on the sunset. Here are the weather headlines. Beautiful shot there. Isolated showers tomorrow morning into early afternoon down to our south, but Unfortunately, uh, overall under a quarter of an inch to nothing in the area. And then windy and much cooler behind it on northerly winds 20 to 30 with gust over 40. Elevated uh, fire risk, of course, with this and a gale warning out. And cold Saturday night. We're going to be down near freezing here tomorrow night and into Sunday morning and again on Sunday night and into Monday morning. In anticipation of those strong winds, a gale warning has been issued for the offshore waters till 10 o'clock on Saturday night. So mariners, don't get caught tomorrow morning watching this front come through because it'll be through by 11. But uh, it'll be enticing prior to that. Beautiful day. Silhouetted by some high clouds streaking across the area, but the beautiful bayfront right there, just brown because of all the freezes we've had. The grass is dead. So that's why the fire danger is elevated because everything's dead outside because of the freezes. 72 and sunshine now. Southeast wind to 21. It has picked up, but it will lay later tonight. 72 right now here, 76 in Alice. And here are those winds, inland even a little bit breezy and along the coast. But later tonight when the winds come down, we'll see a little fog formation. As the front gets closer, the pressure gradient will relax. Here is the uh, situation. We've got clouds to our south and east. The moist flow is off to the east. That's where the rain will be in that moist flow and trained in there as the front comes through tomorrow morning around 11. Secondary push comes through behind it, and that will result in a lot of wind and much colder temperatures here. Take a look, mild now, but uh, as that front approaches, it'll stir up a few showers in the region here tomorrow morning. Uh, late uh, tonight and early midday tomorrow and then windy and much cooler behind the front as high pressure builds in. Here's another look at it with the rain enhanced on top of it. So a little bit there about 10 o'clock in the morning in the uh, coastal bend and then a few sprinkles tomorrow afternoon, but just not much. And then it clears out tomorrow night and cooler air comes in a lot cooler air from Canada. And uh, that's where the uh, chilly nights are going to come into play here. As far as the rainfall amounts, generally around a third of an inch along the coast to lower and to no amounts as you go west. Here are the winds. Again, they do lay tonight, single digits by morning, so we'll get a little bit of light fog at that point. And then the winds start ripping through the area here about 11 a.m. That's the frontal passage. Look at this, 25 to 35 with gust of 45. So it's really going to blow here tomorrow. Uh, afternoon and evening and right on into Sunday morning, but the winds lay Sunday afternoon making for great weather. So there's a gale warning out. Rip current risk will be high tomorrow. UV index will be low and the bay waters will be choppy to very rough. It's all happening because that low is dragging down some cold air from west central Canada, but it quickly goes away. So our temperatures moderate back into the 70s with wind next week. Walking the dog this evening looking good with temperatures dropping through the 60s and a lighter southeasterly wind. So tonight, we will stop in the 50s. We'll hit 64 in the morning and then drop into the 50s tomorrow afternoon. 33 and 61 on Super Bowl Sunday. Great on Valentine's Day. 36 but 68 in the afternoon. And then 74 Tuesday and then the winds obnoxiously so. Big winds take over the latter part of next week. We'll have more with Katya right after this.